you probably have hearing loss of some sort, just statistically speaking. According to the Hearing Loss Association of America, approximately 48 million Americans have some degree of hearing loss. And since it can affect nearly every dimension of being a human, physical and mental health, social skills, relationships, even work in school, it's shocking when you think that only one in five people who would absolutely benefit from a hearing aid actually use one. Now, it's not without reason, as there are some pretty significant barriers to using them. The first one being cost. Prescription hearing aids can cost upwards of over $6,000. In addition to that, there tends to be, in some cases at least, a stigma to using them. You don't necessarily want to be seen with one, maybe. But that is all changing, thanks to the FDA establishing a new category of over-the-counter hearing aids, aka ones you can just go out and buy without a prescription, as of October 17th, 2022. So... That makes it a consumer electronic, and so naturally, the consumer electronic brands that you know and love, like Sony, for example, decided that they might be able to help with those pain points in a big way. And well, it makes sense. Firstly though, what do hearing aids even do exactly? I think there's a bit of a misconception that they work like those cartoon old timey ear trumpets and that they just amplify all of the sound. And they're actually much more nuanced than that. Normally when you get tested for hearing loss, you get played a series of tones at varying frequencies that you would then respond to when you hear them. And of course, you not hear the ones that you can't hear, so you don't respond to those. Generally, an audiologist, a doctor specializing in hearing, would administer this test, which, of course, added to the cost of these hearing aids. But with these new over-the-counter ones, you can easily take a test on your phone or a website using headphones and simply tap or click when you hear the tones or adjust the sliders, whatever it might be. This data is then used to create an audiogram that looks something like this, and it's basically a map of the frequencies that you have some loss in, indicated by their lower position on the graph. The lower, the more loss in that frequency. So what hearing aids do is they use this information and they create a profile for the hearing aids to amplify just those frequencies. And in the case of the Sony CRE-C20s like these, they also have onboard processing to additionally determine voices versus other noise to help make voices even easier to hear on top of that and adjust everything per ear. Now all of that is different compared to regular music earbuds. Plus, hearing aids have sophisticated feedback cancellation tech that allows the boosting of the sound a lot more as needed for hearing loss without that dreaded feedback sound or hiss when the mic essentially is feeding back the audio that it picks up from the speakers. In addition to that, sound clarity is specifically good. And even in loud environments like, say, a coffee shop, you can still hear the person in front of you while pulling down everything else. And they have auto-adjusting mics that adjust sound based on your environment. In the case of the Sony hearing aids, all of this is done in the Sony hearing control app. And after a few minutes, all of it is set up automatically. You can then fine tweak it using simple controls to make it sharper or less sharp, which can help people missing certain frequencies hear consonants versus vowels better, depending on which is harder for them, as well as adjust the volume per ear, too. Also, in the app, you can go through a step-by-step -step triage system to fix things based on reported issues. And they even have a specific hotline that you can call to get help from their Sony Hear team, which gets you a human specifically trained to help you with hearing aids for free as many times as you need, which is helpful since we remove the doctors that we would normally reach out to with prescription hearing aids. And now for the over-the-counter hearing aids themselves. And unlike prescription ones that for the most part looks are not really something anyone thought of, most over-the-counter ones are much better looking and sleek even, like the CRE C20s and the CRE E10s. Now there are generally two types of over-the-counter hearing aids. Those that are more discreet, like these Sony C20s, that are basically invisible unless you're looking directly down someone's ear canal. And there are more earbud-like ones, like these Sony CRE 10s, that are still way smaller than you'd find for most music normal earbuds. And one of the trade-offs between between these in general is that the in-ear ones give you more discretion, but because of how Bluetooth works, it has a hard time going through your skull, basically. They can't really be used as Bluetooth headsets to play music, for example. Whereas the CRE-10s can do that like a normal pair of earbuds because they stick out a bit. Okay, so knowing what over-the-counter hearing aids are, how they work, and why we're seeing more and more of them right now, thanks to that FDA ruling, the next logical step is to see if you're a candidate for them. And again, most people who are don't actually know that they are. Thankfully, Sony actually has a free for anyone hearing test at the link below that you can use from a browser with headphones without signing up for an account of any sort to get a report of how your hearing is. Give it a try. It only takes five minutes. And hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching.